بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم مائی نیم از فواد الحق اینڈ آئی ایم دا سبجیکٹ ٹیچر آف کمپیوٹر سائنس ٹو ڈے مائی لیکچر از فار کلاس فسٹ ایئر دس از دا لیکچر نمبر ون یونٹ نمبر فائیو and the name of the unit is network communication and protocols before going further first of all we must understand why we are learning this topic the topic is man and van so the main objective of learning this topic is when student complete this topic after that student will be able to know about the difference between man and van and the second the most important objective of learning of this topic is student will be able to solve these two questions question number one from exercise part 10 and question number two from exercise part four which is the short questions so one fill in the blank and one short question covers this topic So going further to this topic, first of all, <clears throat> we are going to learn about the MAN. What is MAN? MAN stands for the Metropolitan Area Network. The first thing, dear students, you must understand that MAN is a network, a type of network. just like we have learned about the lan local area network local area network we already learned from previous topic that was also a network now we are studying about the man the man stands for metropolitan area network which is the computer network which covers the area of metropolitan so what is the metropolitan a metropolitan area network is a computer network that usually span a city the main thing about this topic the main thing for the learning of this thing is what is the area of the metropolitan area network the area is within a city so man usually interconnect interconnection a number of local area networks lan using a high capacity backbone technology dear students when we are going to study the about the man so man consists of many lands many local area networks connect with each other by using uh, some high speed uh, backbone technology nowadays the high speed backbone technology is optic fiber so when we connect two or more than two local area network with each other uh, via a high speed backbone then it become a metropolitan area network man might be own and managed by a single organization so this is the important thing if about the man that a man can be own by a single organization it cannot be owned by the multiple organization usually it consists of a <coughs> it uh, own and managed by the only one organization metropolitan area network connects multiple geographical nearby lands to one another over an area of up to a few dozen kilometer so the important thing is we can say that man uh, is a computer network which combine two or more than two lands with each other by using a high speed backbone network uh, medium but it consists up to a dozen, some dozens of kilometer area or a within a city recently use of man technology has been the rapid development of cellular phone system like u phone jazz etc etc so that we can give the example that each company using uh, metropolitan area uh, network within a city within a city they are using the metropolitan area network which can be connected with each other by a optic fiber and high speed backbone technology now we are going to study about the wan what is the wan stands for wan stands for wide area network as dear student the name shows about this network is this is also a computer network but it 
can contain it can be a span about a very wide area a large area network when covers large distance for communication between nodes or computers so anything you can see that when anything connected uh, within a network is called a node either it can be a computer either it can be a smartphone it can be a camera it can be printer anything when you are uh, anything we are you are going to connect within a network is called node so when uh, when nodes cover large area distance its node may span around the globe we can say that the nodes of uh, <coughs> metro uh, wide area network is uh, covering all over the globe it interconnects many lands and veins so the, again the big difference of uh, van is it consists of many many lands and many many veins here the main important thing is when we combine more veins and more lands together it become a van van uses optic fiber microwave satellite technology for communication so van must use the many uh, technologies uh, within uh, within uh, one network like uh, uh, optic fiber uh, satellite microwave radio wave etc etc for example nationwide atm automated teller machine use our banking represent a common application of wide area network so we can say that and in every country and all over the world we use automated uh, teller machines atms which have been experienced by us in daily life is using the wide area network van the most well known van is the internet which cover the entire globe so we can give the example of the van is internet which cover the entire globe mostly van like the internet are not owned by any one organization but rather exist under collective or distributed ownership in management so we can say that uh, when cannot be owned by a single organization it can consist uh, it can consist many uh, uh, managers and many companies uh, are owner owned by uh, owner of the wide area network so the summary of uh, today's uh, lesson is as connected with the previous lesson is uh, we can see that uh, we are we have been learned about the lan man and van and now uh, the difference in short words we can define and we can differentiate between lan man and van the simple difference the very simple difference uh, is uh, here the first thing is the yes the first thing is lan interconnection of two or more than two computers through a medium is called lan and man interconnection of two or more than two lanes with each other is called man and man and when interconnection of lanes and man is called van so the difference you can see that when we are combining two or more than two computers within each other it become a lan and we are when we are combining two or more than two lanes with each other it become man and when we are combining all lanes and or vans all mans with each other it become a van so this is the topic of today any questions you may ask thank you